today I want to review this book for you. It's called Botanical Illustration from Life and it's by Isi Kuner. A visual guide to observing, drawing and painting plants. So this book has a bit of a modern um, twist to it or a modern appeal. Um, it's traditional botanical art in it, kind of in a modern day and there is a big difference to it. So um, artists like uh, Billy Shawl or Anna Mason, I would um, gear towards traditional art, uh, botanical art, and um, this kind of feels a little bit more modern, uh, just as a comparison. So this book um, is also new. It's been first published in 2019, but reprinted in 2020. And um, it's a beautiful book. And here is a tip how to use white space in a book in a aesthetically pleasing and also chic way. So you can see it already looks fairly modern and um, it is filled with um, beautiful illustration up against the white of the background which makes it fresh and crisp. And um, yeah, the work is beautiful. I love her style. And um, she's very much, the, the artist is very much into nature and how to preserve nature, how to observe nature. So um, you can really sense that um, in this book. So if you like to go for a nice walk somewhere in um, like an open field or maybe you live somewhere in the countryside or you go to a park if you live in a city and you like to look at trees and plants and whatnot um, this book kind of gives you that feel and um, I also like her attention to detail this photograph is um, really interesting because she's holding up some sort of leaf that she picked up in the forest or something and there are these tiny little mushrooms that are like you know like a little hair sticking up from the leave and the fact that you know you pay attention to these little details um, is is kind of the beauty of it and here is the artist hi hiding behind some greenery I mean look at this fan it's just humongous and um, yeah it's beautiful I used to live in Hampstead and um, go to the Hampstead Heath for walks and there are some rural parts like that where you can just feel like you're in the forest and um, it's just so relaxing for the mind you know and um, then she picks up some specimens and also explains how to like press them and there's not not just painting botanics botanical art but also a few bits and pieces that you might definitely find uh, new and haven't looked at it before and um, you also get a glimpse of her studio and here again how she picks up these specimens and how she preserves them to keep them nice and fresh for when she gets home and gets painting and um, the way I understand I think she uses a combination of watercolor and pencils I'm not entirely sure hold on a second did we yeah I didn't look at the contents properly so we have the start observe draw draw from life start to draw how to draw um, all of that paint so there's a good bit here watercolor start to paint how to paint color mixing colors color contrast color perspective texture sketches let's paint final touches and we have explore you have roots stems buds leaves flowers and master finding your style etc so yeah, beautiful. I can't see any colored pencil in her proximity, but look at the beautiful spot she has for her studio, just looking onto some sort of 
humongous forest in Turkey. She's um, Turkish from what I can understand from her name. And um, yeah, beautiful. <clears throat> very elegant book. It definitely feels fresh and modern. Um, it's um, You definitely can see her own style and I think that's what makes every botanical artist so unique and special is when you can uh, recognize their style. So here is about drawing part again. Then changing perspectives of leaves. There's a really good fair amount on leaves as well. So if you are into um, painting leaves, oh my god, look at that detail here. Now that's way too detailed for me, as in I would not be able to create that much detail. Uh, it's just uh, I wouldn't know where to start, and I'd probably do like three or four of them and give up. <laughs> I just I could not keep my concentration for so long and it's beautiful though it's really really stunning and um, so there are some more techniques of how you transfer and the feather I've seen this before so you don't smudge the pencil marks you use a feather to get rid of the um, eraser shavings I wanted to show you the part on um, Oh, look at that. There's a video, it just reminded me, there's a video I did on brush marks, um, experimenting with different ones, uh, different brushes and stuff. I'll try to link it up here. And it just reminded me on, on that little tutorial playtime I did. And, uh, yeah, so leaf-wise... I find that quite often if you have a good botanical art book you don't get enough on the leaves like it's predominantly flowers or fruit or vegetables but here is so much on the leaves and it's really really pretty beautiful compositions There's the buds and the leaves. Here we go. So that's the bit I wanted to show you. So this is this, this, this here. So leaves. And we have a little bit to read here. And then we have a great amount of different leaves to look at. Look at that beautiful leaf. Now that's what I call leaves. So from start to end you have also where she talks through of every bit. So we start with draw carefully, light and shadow, add more layers, highlights, vein, focus, sense of depth. And then we have another one. I mean this is gorgeous section on leaves. And then you get into flowers as well. Not that you didn't have enough flowers already, but there is a little bit of a breakdown here, uh, which really has that botanical aspect of it, where you can see the flowers or the bits of the flowers are cut in half, and you have the ability to look inside it, etc. So I don't want to give you every single page, but look at this beauty, fruits and seeds. And then finding your style. I um, haven't read it yet, but yeah, I find this artist incredibly inspiring and incredibly talented. And yeah, I admire her time, you know, and effort that she put into this book. It's, I mean, it's stunning. There's like no other words I could use. Other than saying it's a really hard-working artist and that's to be appreciated. <laughs>
all right thanks for watching and see you soon